हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू माय पॉडकास्ट डब्ल्यू फाइव वाव वुमन विनिंग वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड पीपल के पत्तों जैसा मत बनो जो वक्त आने पर सूख कर गिर जाते हैं बनना है तो मेहंदी के पत्तों जैसा बनो बनना है तो मेहंदी के पत्तों जैसा बनो जो पीस कर भी दूसरों की जिंदगी में रंग भर देते हैं फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर इन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी नाउ वुमन्स हैव लर्न एंड आर सीजन टू फाइट देयर बैटल्स दे ऑल्सो गेट प्रिसिंग्स इफ दे वॉन्ट ओवर द ईयर्स इंडिया हैज हैड सेवरल वुमन डिप्लोमैट्स हाई कमिश्नर्स वुमन फॉरन सेक्रेटरीज हु हैव डन स्टिंट्स इन कंट्रीज लाइक यू एस ए चाइना स्पेन बांग्लादेश ऑस्ट्रेलिया कतार स्विट्जरलैंड सर्बिया रशिया स्लोवैकिया घाना At all these places, they were highly respected for their tough stance and unflappable poise during their distinguished service. So, friends, all these have a background, fought by our today's wow woman who believed in herself and had opened path for other women in foreign services. She is C. B. Muthamma, Chonira Beliappa Muthamma, the first IFS woman officer and. first ambassador in an age when most indian women didn't even try getting into foreign service this bold woman didn't just choose ifs when she qualified upsc but she fought gender bias proved her ground and went on to become india's first female ambassador madam muthamma was born in karnataka's kodagu district in 1924 muthamma had the seeds of ifs sown in her childhood as her father was a forest officer but to her misfortune she lost her father at very small age just at the age when she was 9 years she was raised single handedly by her mother she completed her secondary education from st joseph's girls school and she completed her graduation with triple gold medal from women's christian college in madras She completed her post graduation in English literature from Presidency College in Chennai. Then she appeared for UPSC examination and performed brilliantly becoming first Indian woman to clear UPSC examination in 1948. During her interview of UPSC she expressed her ambition to join Indian Foreign Service but certainly she was discouraged. by the interviewing panel quoting it is not suitable for women but she was like aasman dekhkar sapne buno aasan ko chhod mushkil raha chuno so she being determined to get her choice of service argued convincingly her case stood her ground and she joined in 1949 as first woman ifs she had to sign an undertaking which stated that she would resign if she got married however after a couple of years the rules changed for the next few decades she served extraordinarily in many capacities in europe asia and africa however she had to fight against gender bias all through her diplomatic career despite serving in the foreign service for long her case was overlooked when it came to posting her as an ambassador but this was against a lady who was not to accept any injustice lying down so muthamma filed a petition against indian government in the supreme court on the ground that she had been unjustly overlooked for promotion the determined and honest officer argued that rules governing the employment of women in the service were discriminatory the government of india represented by solicitor general soli saurabh ji argued that the chances of leakages of confidential information of strategic significances was a dangerous risk should women ambassadors marry really realizing that this was flagrant prejudice against women the court asked the solicitor general how leakage of information was not a possibility if a male ambassador married finally a landmark judgment in 1979 a three member supreme court bench headed by justice v r krishna iyer analyzed the individual rules and found that 
if a woman member shall obtain the permission of government before marriage the same risk is run by gov- government if a male member contracts a marriage if the family and domestic commitment of a woman member of service is likely to come in the way of efficient discharge of duties a similar situation may well arise in case of a male member if a married man has a right a married woman other things being equal stands on no worse footing freedom is indivisible so is justice freedom is indivisible so is justice the court had dismissed her petition but directed the government to review the complaint of promoting the officers junior to her the court ruled that there is a need to mend all service rules to remove discrimination she was promoted to grade 1 in july 1980 the landmark judgment ended with a statement we dismiss the petition but not the problem consequent to this ruling muthamma was posted as india's ambassador to hungary the first woman from within the service to be appointed to this prestigious post later she served in ghana and her last posting was as individual indian ambassador to netherland after 32 years of exemplary service she retired from ifs in 1982 but only after breaking ceiling for women who joined ifs after her even after retirement muthamma remained active in various field she was nominated as the indian member of independent commission on disarmament and security issues set up by the then swedish prime minister she was also a prolific writer and during her retirement she authored several works on a range of interest from a cookbook on kodava cuisine to a collection of scholarly articles titled slain by system another one was india's real crisis people like muthamma madam come along very rarely civil servants like her are rarer the courageous lady lived a life only a handful of other women of her time lived fighting a lo- lonely battle against discrimination a woman who broke barriers and set example many others she inspired indian women to step in and take challenge of civil services really a wow woman कुछ कर गुजरने के लिए मौसम नहीं मन चाहिए कुछ कर गुजरने के लिए मौसम नहीं मन चाहिए साधन सभी जुट जाएंगे संकल्प का धन चाहिए संकल्प का धन चाहिए मीट यू टुमारो विथ नेक्स्ट वाव वुमन टिल देन कीप स्माइलिंग बी हैप्पी बाय